welcome back to the channel. Day eight on our current northeast tour of Northumbria, the Scottish borders, and the Lake District. Um, the plans for today are we're going to hopefully cross to Holy Island, um, check the tide times, and we're looking at about 1.30 this afternoon. So hopefully we can get a few walks in this morning. Um, we're currently on our first one, 6 o'clock. Just um, taking Sky for a nice quickie before breakfast. So it's it's just around the local fields and cutting back onto the footpath where we went to yesterday. So yeah, that's the plans. Um, yeah, we're here for one more night and then tomorrow we move up to Melrose. We're staying at, um, is it Gibson Park, Melrose. Um, we've pre-booked tickets for Tuesday to have a look at the Abbey. Um, yeah, so we're gonna have a good look around Melrose, take you with us and um, show you a bit more. Um, at Melrose, we're there for two nights and then on Wednesday we cut across all the way to Keswick. Keswick will be the last day on our current tour and um, we've got um, three nights there and then we venture back home on the Saturday. So stick with us guys. Um, I know you like these current vlogs. Um, I've had a nice endorsement from Bob Earnshaw. Um, on Facebook and on Twitter so um, we just need to um, get this subscriber count up now get you all commenting and liking and clicking that bell for future updates um, we've got lots more planned for the um, current year um, we got um, a YouTube meetup in Hereford that's the week after I come back and then two weeks after that I think or three weeks um, we're down to the or up to the the new Sherwood Pines in Nottingham and then at the bank holiday August we're venturing to Sutton on Sea which is the caravan and motorhome club site um, we've got lots more well we've got another week's trip in September um, another trip in October and um, we're going to finish off the year hopefully at the end of November at Sandringham before it all starts again next January just after New Year's Day we're booked in to go to Castleton so lots of adventures planned and all that and some more into next year already booked so as I say stick with us guys um, we try to do our best with these vlogs um, hopefully something a bit different for you all and all that so um, yeah thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you a bit later this morning we'll do another walk and then hopefully weather permitting um, we're going to venture across to the island so catch you all soon good morning everybody back out again number two walk of the day um, it's about 8.20 in the morning at the moment um, we've had breakfast um, yeah we're just um, walking again through the fields hopefully this will lead us onto the coastline so we're gonna go a different route than yesterday hopefully see something new for us all um, yeah we're gonna go out for about an hour or so come back just put a few bits away in the motor home um, have a little light lunch then um, get ready to cross the causeway over to Holy Island Lindisfarne um, should be interesting um, I think the car park is a field um, I believe it's £4.50 for three hours or £7 for 24 hours and there is no overnight camping on the island so they say so 
Um, yeah, we're going to hopefully go over, um, provided we don't get any heavy rain this morning and that because there's nothing worse than looking around somewhere where it's, you know, the weather's not good. So, um, yeah, we'll take you on this walk with us and show you a bit more if we see anything interesting. Right subscribers, we're on the footpath called route number one. Um, I believe this footpath takes us all the way to Berwick, which is about 10 miles away. Obviously we're not going to walk that far, and that with just a little walk on a Sunday morning. Um, here's the estuary again from yesterday. We walked from the far end back round. Um, so it's just a couple of gates over a little bridge and um, panning back around the other way so we're gonna go over the bridge we can see a few houses in the distance so we'll probably go as far as there and see where it takes us If you're wondering guys how I'm managed to do the video in with Sky, apart from when she's not off lead, I've got um, one of those stretchy running dog leads. Um, it just clips onto a belt, so um, it gives me two hands free, so it's a big help when vlogging on your own, and that, so um, it seems to work well, so she's happy. Um, as I say, the lead's got a bit of give in it with the elastic and all that, so it, it works well. So, and so we're just following this coastal path, and we'll come back to you if we see something worth showing. Right, we've been walking about a mile and a half, about 30 minutes, and we come to this desolate beach. Um, flat, flat as... A pancake you can see for miles um, just me and Sky on it um, I didn't bring the ball today um, I should have stuck my backpack on um, we're not even got a raincoat if it rains but um, we're just enjoying the morning walk she's happy I'm happy just nice and chilled today Here she comes, having a little wander around. Right, Sky's found a, an old tatty ball, so she's happier at the moment. Um, what I would like to say is we're just um, in the distance we can see a few cars and lorries or motorhomes crossing the causeway um, it's still a bit early as far as I can tell as I say the internet did say 1.30 so maybe when we get back um, we'll have a quick coffee and probably chance it right guys we're coming off the beach and um, in front of us we're gonna have a quick look but it looks like an old Air Force Tower um, not too sure so if there's any signs up saying exactly what it is we'll have a quick look
Not sure how we're going to get over this gate, but we'll find a way. Danger, former military target area. Do not pick up any metal objects, they may explode and kill you. Ah, that's interesting. All it says is keep out. So um, we're going to keep out um, in case the locals come and tell us off. But um, there you go. Right, we're heading across the field and we've got to see if we can get out of here and back on the track back to the campsite. This guy's found a way out so it looks like we just got to squeeze our way through the wire fence so we'll be back with you soon. Right we found our way out so we're just going to head through the gateway and um, nice little two mile walk back to the motorhome. Right, and we've got to put Sky in the lead because I can see some sheep. So, we'll be back soon. Well, it's turning out to be a beautiful day now. The sun is out. Um, right in the distance there, we have Holy Island. Um, I've just checked the tide times again. Now, you were safe to cross up until 9.40 this morning. And then it's 1.30 this afternoon, so um, it looks like it's this afternoon we're going to do that. So, yeah, um, we're stunning countryside scenery. Um, we're just panning around. I can see the campsite in the distance. We've still got about two miles walk to get back there. As I say, this coastal path takes us all the way up to Berwick-on-Tweed. Right, that was a really enjoyable walk this morning. Um, we're probably going to end it there. Um, I don't know whether to stick this on as a separate vlog, because um, if we add the Holy Island videos on it, um, you know, I don't know what we're going to see there, but it could be too long, so um, we'll check that out later. So if it comes up as one vlog, you know why. Um, if it ends up as one long one, um, I appreciate you watching and not getting too bored. As I say, we try to bring you a daily vlog every day of our trip. Um, I like to get these out because I upload them onto my iPad and then I oh, excuse me that's my phone um, yeah I like to clear the iPad and the memory cards on the camera all ready for the next day so this is why we've been putting them up every day um, as I say stick with me guys um, I'd love some new subscribers um, if you could recommend me to some people Twitter Facebook um, on your own YouTube pages I would appreciate it and um, yeah we'll bring you some more soon thank you see you soon